everybody, it's Mary. Welcome back to the kitchen. It is summertime and I have lots of berries on my farm. And today I'm going to make a mixed berry jam in the microwave. So I'm mashing these berries. I'm supposed to mash them until I have about a cup of uh, actual berries. I started out with two cups in my measuring uh, cup. Now folks, I will give you the instructions for these in the description box, so don't worry about trying to figure out how much ingredients that I'm using. I'll just put it on there at the end. Okay, let's see if we have a cup. I'm sure we'll have a little over a cup, but we're going to follow the instructions. We're not going to double anything. Okay. I have a little boy who's going to love to eat that in a little bit. Okay. So I have a cup of berries that are crushed. I have blackberries, I have raspberries, and I have red raspberries in there. I've got my sugar, put that in there, lemon juice, give it just a little bit more acidity, and a pat of butter to keep it from foaming excessively. Okay. I'm going to mix all this up. I'm going to put a lid on it and I'm going to put it in the microwave. And it's supposed to cook about eight to nine minutes. And then, folks, that's one of the easiest jam recipes that you're ever going to have. So let's get this in the oven, or microwave. Microwave oven, hey, you know, not too far off, right? Let's put it in here on eight minutes. Okay. The microwave just went off, so let me take your jam out. I stirred this every two minutes while it was in there. And it's coating the spoon right there, even at this temperature. So once it cools, then it's going to uh, thicken up and be a really, really, really nice jam. Well, folks, I'm going to uh, store this in the refrigerator after it cools. I am not going to uh, process it any further because this is a refrigerator jam. Still has uh, some really nice chunks in there. Uh, folks, that goes to show just how easy it is to make a quick jam. It took all of 10-12 minutes total, but Anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you folks on the next video.